Staying in California, President Trump tweeting this today. In high-tax, high-crime California, be sure to get out and vote for Republican John Cox for governor. He will make a big difference. All right, here is John Cox. Welcome back to the show, John. Good to see you. Great to be with you, Stuart. Election day. I'm excited. <laughs> it's arrived, finally. Yes, okay. yes. I'm sure you're getting no sleep, but answer this question. If you make it through to the big contest in November and you face Gavin Newsom, what are you going after him on? His policies or his past? I'm going after policy all the way, Stuart. If you look in the dictionary under the word Bay Area elitist, you see Gavin Newsom's picture. Uh, he is the definition of a guy who was put in business by a billionaire, and he's already promised us that he's going to raise our income taxes, actually double the income tax. He's going to raise property taxes. He's going to fight the repeal of the gas tax. As you know, I'm the leader of the gas tax repeal. We filed almost a million signatures to get rid of this tax. Gasoline in this state is over $4 a gallon, and it's driving working people into poverty we're going to repeal it, we're going to get this state affordable again, and we're going to win this race in November. Now, let's suppose that you're in the top two. What happens to Travis Allen supporters? He's another Republican. He's a little bit further down in the polls. Can you get Travis Allen supporters into your camp if you're in the top two in November? I'm a solid conservative. The president has endorsed me. He's now issued his third tweet. He knows I'm a businessman who tries to get results, and I'm going to get results for California. I think uh, Mr. Allen's supporters all want a better California. I'm going to reach out to their supporters. I'm also going to reach out to moderate Democrats and independents okay. who, who can't afford a house here, who can't afford gasoline. But, who that might be, are, but, you know, that might be a problem, John. Uh, you're reaching out to Democrats of any stripe, moderates or otherwise. You're known as having the support in three tweets of President Trump. That's not going to go down well with any Democrat, is it? I think it will because of the fact that the uh, liberal Democrats, the cronies, who are selling this state to the special interests. Gavin Newsom is a walking, talking special interest. Uh, why did he have three solid Democratic opponents? Because they know that Gavin Newsom will take this state over the liberal cliff, holding hands with Bernie Sanders. This is uh, not going to work for California. Working Californians have been beaten into poverty by this Democratic majority. They've ruined the schools. Our roads are horrible. We need to take back this state. We will. We will end the sanctuary state policy. We will repeal the gas tax. We will cut and eliminate the waste and corruption and mismanagement of the state. You know, there's a big difference between me and my Republican opponent. I've been in business for 40 years, Stuart. I've had to meet payrolls. I've had to meet budgets. I've had to hire and fire employees and hold them accountable. My opponent has only had a couple of employees. I think it's important to have that kind of experience okay. in running uh, the largest economy in the country uh, well, and the fifth largest economy in the world. John, the polls are open. We'll get the results tomorrow. We'll see what happens, and we'll have Travis Allen later on the program today. But, John Cox, thanks for joining us yet again, sir. We appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thank you, Stuart.